Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Dr. Garima Soni and let's start with today's top medical news. Study finds that an imbalance in cholesterol may be linked to neurodegeneration, suggesting potential strategies for intervention. In a recent review published in the journal Experimental and Molecular Medicine, researchers reviewed available literature on the role and mechanism by which cholesterol imbalances in brain contribute to neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Huntington's disease, and Parkinson's disease. They analyzed more than 80 publications on key mechanisms such as synaptic dysfunction function, amyloid beta protein oligomers, protein clustering, changes in membrane structure, and alpha synuclein aggregation. Their findings indicate that changes in cholesterol synthesis and metabolism are common across most neurodegenerative diseases studied, while cholesterol-lowering drugs as somewhat reduce the risk of these diseases. Further research is needed to create targeted pharmacological treatments for these conditions. Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like compound present in the cell membrane of all human cells. It is crucial for neuronal signaling and synaptic connections, particularly in the brain. Interestingly, the brain holds 20-25% of body's total cholesterol reserves, making it the organ with the highest concentration of cholesterol in the human body. Study finds that diabetes accelerates the onset of severe long-term conditions by 15-20 to 20 years, leading to a reduction in life expectancy. In a recent study published in the journal Nature Medicine, researchers in the United Kingdom estimated the onset age, number of years spent, and life loss in diabetes-related multiple long-term conditions among 46 million adults. This study revealed that diabetes hastened the development of severe multiple long-term conditions by 15 to 20 years, significantly shortened life expectancy. The impact varied across various age groups in older adults, hypertension, cancer, depression, and coronary heart disease were the primary contributors, while in younger adults, mental health conditions and asthma played a more significant role. Type 2 diabetes significantly contribute to various forms of morbidity due to insulin resistance, chronic hyperglycemia, and related dysfunctions. It is strongly associated with both microvascular and macrovascular complications, including cardiovascular, eye, foot, and kidney diseases. New discovery immune cells in cranial bone marrow combat glioblastomas. Study finds. In a recent study published in the journal Nature Medicine, researchers examined clinical glioblastoma in benign intracranial samples to determine the presence and function of immune cells in the brain. The brain is considered an immune-privileged organ with minimal immunological activity. However, recent research has revealed the presence of both innate and adaptive immune cells in the area such as the choroid plexus, meninges, and dural sinuses. The presence of immune cells at the interface between the cranial nervous system and the rest of the body enables information to be conveyed from the brain via interstitial, cerebrospinal and lymphatic fluids. The disruption of neuroimmune barrier may be implicated in malignant diseases such as glioblastoma. However, immune checkpoint inhibitors have been associated with limited efficiency in treatment glioblastomas. Systemic immunosuppression and intrinsic, adaptive, and acquired immunotherapy resistance may prevent these immunotherapies from successfully reaching brain tumors. Study finds early mental health support for men diagnosed with prostate cancer. In a recent study published in the journal Psycho-Oncology, mental health screening must be incorporated in routine prostate cancer diagnosis. The call follows new research that shows men need more support both during and immediately after a diagnosis of prostate cancer. It's an important finding not only highlighting the percentage of prostate cancer patients who seek mental health support, but notably those who do not. Every year, more than 24,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer, with up to 40% of patients considered at risk of mental distress. Prostate cancer can significantly impact mental well-being, creating uncertainty and morbidity. This study describe patterns of psychotropic medications and mental health service used as proxy measures for mental health problem five years before and five years after prostate cancer diagnosis population based registry data was used and a total of 13693 participants were evaluated the researchers estimated the proportion and rates of psychotropic medications and mental health service used before and after diagnosis that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.